Hey y'all, welcome to What Chelsea Eats. Thank you so much for joining me today. I want to talk to you a little bit about cooking with clean cookware. The truth of the matter is, is that I think we don't recognize how much it affects our bodies when we cook with toxic cookware. The ingredients that they use or the chemicals that they use or the, or the materials that they used to make the product is leaching into our food and when we eat it we are ingesting all that the pot or pan was made of so you know how whenever you i know this has happened when i was a kid my kids used to do it when i when they were little but it was before i knew any better you know you have like a plastic um like Tupperware container, it doesn't have to be Tupperware, it could be Rubbermaid, whatever. You have a Tupperware container and they put their food in that container and they stick it in the microwave and they stick it in there until it's hot and then you take it out and then you see like there's stains in the Tupperware, there are ridges in the Tupperware from where you have microwaved it and cooked that food in there. Well, guess what? That food that you cooked in that microwave container is leaching whatever that microwave container was that you cooked it in. Same thing happens when you use a pot or a pan. Like if it's toxic, like um, like a non-stick surface, like uh, Teflon, that kind of stuff. If it's non-stick, even though you might've paid a whole lot of money for those pans and you thought they were good cookware, but when you cook with them, what happens is a little bit of leaching happens and, and it gets into your cookware. I mean, into your food as you cook with it. And it's all kinds of cookware. So my suggestion for cookware is to find the best cookware that you can afford. First off, it needs to be it needs to be clean. I like stainless steel. Some people don't like stainless steel. I use stainless steel cookware. Um, I use 360 cookware. Um, I love 360 cookware. I have a discount code for 25% off 360. It's WCE25 if you're interested in it. And I love it. Like it's great cookware, but it's not the cheapest cookware. But the thing about the cookware is I'll have it forever. I'll get tired of it before it wears out. That's the kind of cookware that 360 is. You can use glass cookware. I've had glass cookware before. I don't really know what happened to my glass cookware. It's probably one of those things where my kids probably took glass cookware out of my house whenever they moved out because they didn't have any pots or pans. And I don't really know where that is anymore. Um, there are those green cookware um, products that I am not well versed in. So I can't answer your question there. The reason that I haven't gotten into them, and, and this is just the truth, and I don't know this is fact, like so don't take this to the bank. They make these products that are green and clean and everything. First of all, I don't think that this is just an opinion. I don't know this for truth. So, you know, do your own research on this. I don't know that they last that long. They are still expensive. I don't know that they last very long and I don't know that whatever this material is that they are using to make the products is all that great either. Like long term, like for whatever reason, I just got this feeling that we're going to hear in, you know, five years, 10 years or something that this material that they're using is not good. But I don't know that. Like, that's just the feeling I get. It's not a thus say of the Lord or anything like that. So I'm, don't come at me with that but that's why i haven't really gotten into it but stainless steel you take care of it you wash it you use it like it has stand, stood the test of time i don't know but some people don't like stainless steel i don't know but all i know is that we whatever you decide to do we have to stop using toxic cookware we have to whatever you see like where stuff is peeling off um, the the pan and stuff like that that's toxic it's going in your food if it can peel off it's going in your food um, like I said I like 360 I did two videos on top um, 360 where I did an unboxing and how I feel like the other one was how I 
like really my opinions about 360 you can look it down in the description box below for those two videos but for your healing journey if you're going to eat cooked food you need to make sure that whatever you're cooking your food in is not toxic and i'll mention this too since i mentioned it earlier in the video about microwave cooking is not healthy either so if you're sticking stuff in the microwave it's a lot of radiation and it's toxic and it's not good for if you have some type of reproductive issue. So a few years ago, well, it's, it's actually been five years. I can't believe it. Five years ago, 2018. Yeah. Late 2018, my husband and I, we redid our kitchen and we bought all new appliances. We bought a new microwave because you need a microwave over the stove. I guess we could have did without it, but now at this point, I probably wouldn't have bought it because about two years ago, the microwave just stopped working. It just doesn't work anymore. I didn't use the microwave, but my husband will put stuff in there or if my kids come over there like microwaving stuff. So they would use the microwave, but one day it just stopped working. So now it doesn't work and I'm not replacing it. I could care less if the microwave works. So I think that was a, you know, like a blessing because I really don't want microwave waves flowing through my house. But anyway, it's just a, it's, it's just, I just wanted to share that story that I don't use microwaves and we really, if we need to heat our food up, put it in the oven. Um, I have one of those, um, it's like a toaster oven. It's a Cuisinart toaster oven. I'll link a picture right here so you can see which one I have in case you're interested in it. And I'll put a link down below in the description box. But that if I have something small I need to heat up, it's just me and my husband. I rarely use my oven, but you can heat things up in your oven or just put it in a pot on top of your stove and heat it up. You don't need to have a microwave. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. I pray that get the message of what I'm saying between eating your food on toxic cookware versus non-toxic cookware because it really is important because these toxins they go into our body and and our organs don't know what to do with that so it stores it and in the in our organs and glands and then we start to feel sick because of it so the best thing we can do is just not use that toxic cookware so that we're so we're not adding to the problems. So I say that we do everything that we can to help ourselves live a healthier lives, life on our, like it, within our power and whatever we can't control, we just have to trust God that he is going to protect us. But I do think there is a responsibility that we need to take for ourselves to do the absolute best thing we can to take care of our temples because the Holy Spirit lives in us and also it's the only body that we get we only get one body once it's all jacked up and we you know we wore it out it's gone there's nothing else we can do but we can do something right now to take good care of ourselves so i hope this has been helpful lots of love to you i'll take talk talk to y'all soon take care